Okay, I think we have liftoff. Um, yes, we're live. Right, let me just check everything's working properly. Um, oh, something's playing in the background. Nope. The stream playing within the stream. Um, hello, let me just... Okay, I think oh, no, that's not going to happen. Off. What's happening there? Um, let's just have a look. If you are here watching live, please say hello in the chat. Um, and we will just wait for people to come in and yeah, please leave a like as well. Uh, if you're here, I very much appreciate that. Um, we have got Alex Rooney. Hello. Ben Miller has left some messages in the chat. I believe that was before it actually started, but, um, if you're here, Ben, hello. Hello to you too. Um, so I think, yeah, I think everything's working. Um, so another stream. Um, just like the ones I've done before in recent weeks and um, just felt felt like doing a stream really and I was kind of thinking to myself earlier what it would be good to do a stream about uh, as like a theme because obviously it helps to have something to talk about, something to do um, and I just thought because recently I've got some of the new B&M Doc 2 figure sets and I've been sort of fitting them on the shelf and making space for them and you know dusting and all that sort of stuff um, my mind was on figures and so I was think, thinking to myself, you know, uh, what can I do for a stream? Oh, how about talking about the figures and about the figures that I'm missing from my collection and maybe just having a little look on eBay, um, as you do, and just, just seeing how much they're going for and sort of lamenting it, how much they're going for and maybe as well spotting the odd bargain. Uh, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Fingers crossed to, to, to kind of spot a bargain and maybe buy something here and now. Uh, but I, I doubt that will happen, to be honest. Um, Let's have a look. Movie Making Media, hello in the chat. Um, oh yeah, cool, Jack, hi, hi. Great stuff. Um, so, 15 of you watching, I think. This is very good, very good, very good. Um, let's skip over very smoothly to this screen here, uh, if you're watching this. So, this is a, uh, I think, up-to-date um, and as comprehensive as as I know it to be, a list of all the figures that I currently don't own. Um, yeah, it's all whittled down to this after after what like thirteen years, or whatever, <laughs> and counting. Um, so this is this is them. Chloe Butler, hello. Um, yeah, great to have you here, everybody. If you are here watching, please do leave a like um, and please do leave a message in the chat. And of course, I will respond to that. You know, and and. and mention you give you a shout out by name as well so um yeah it makes sense to do um so yeah where was i so figures so yeah these are the figures that i'm missing from the collection um i'm very fortunate to, to have accumulated all all the other ones not pictured here over 13 years or so uh, and counting and um yeah it, it, these are sort of the some of the rarer ones i think it'd be fair to say I mean, in terms of the new series stuff here it is just sort of odd variants, really. Like, I don't know. Without, with the exception of maybe Banner Cafalata uh, and the Doctor Who Experience, Amelia Pond, and of course the Time Crash set as well. With the exception of those those three, and maybe the deluxe figures, the Reaper and the uh, the Rachnos, with the exception of all those, I could probably fairly easily pick up like, everything on the fourth row down, I think. Uh, I mean, sure, some of them like the the glow in the dark uh, Ood and the Gelf. Actually, I don't have that one, but I don't know if I want to buy that or not. I don't know if I can. That's a, a significant variant, really. Um, but those those two and you know, your genetic print Dalek, okay, and the assault Dalek, they go for a fair bit as well. But things like uh, your blue clockwork droid, um, your, your your pink Jadoon captain, Toby's Ad unpossessed, uh, the uh, tenth Doctor in spacesuit there with his smashed helmet, the variant. Um, and of course the the one with the glasses as well and, and the coat. Um, you know these are just fairly minor variants which I I just haven't bothered with in the past or just haven't ended up with for whatever reason. Uh, you know no particular reason. Um, and so so yeah th those are figures that I I probably could get hold of if I wanted to but I'm not in too much of a rush. So we'll perhaps have a look at a few of those and and just see if any of them are going for like especially cheap because with those I can I wait I, I've got you know I can afford to wait in terms of the time um you know for a good a good deal a good bargain for those figures uh, given that you know 
they're not particularly rare. I'm not in any hurry to get them. They're not going to disappear suddenly overnight. Um, so, so that's the the uh, the the fourth row down. That's sort of the the main the bulk of the new series stuff. Um, do do do. I'm just having a look at the chat. Sorry. Um, Shadow Monster says you're nearly there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a great feeling. I think. I've now got sort of 80% of everything, basically. Um, so yeah, like four out of five figures. If you name a figure, there's like a, a four out of five chance that I've got it, which is cool. Um, so roughly I've got about like 400-ish and then I'm missing like another 90 or so. Um, yeah, so it's a great position to be in. Very, uh, very, very lucky indeed. Um, Alex Rooney used to have the Tenth Doctor in the uh, the space lift. It doesn't anymore. It's a shame. It's one of the first ones I got actually. Well, not the, the first, but like back in twenty ten or something. Yeah, I got that one. Um, it's a good set. Good, good, good set. Um, so the theory of science. Do you do challenge videos or do challenge videos? Um, is that a question or just a you know instruction? <laughs> um, I'll buy two for you. You're very welcome. And that's the other thing as well, of course. If anyone in the chat has any of the figures here or knows where I could get hold of them for a good price or whatever, um, you know, ideally boxed, I will say, um, particularly for the classic series. Well, I say that. But particularly for the new series ones, actually, because, you know, you still can get them in the box. The classic series ones are rarer, so I would just accept them loose, really, in terms of, like, getting hold of them. Um, but, yeah, because a lot of people in recent months have been helping me out things like the um the axon creature figure uh just the daleks davros um what else have we had we've had a uh, shock cyberman we have had uh, i'm trying to think now what else what else have I, i've been oh the the first doctor and an earthly child first doctor of course um from the celestial toy gazer very recently uh, have there been any others? There probably have that I've forgotten about. But yeah, quite a few little classic variants. It's on Tyrant's store as well um, that people have just got in touch with me or I've put out a request and said, you know, does anyone have one? And, and they said, yes, I do. Um, would you like it? And we've come to an arrangement that way. So um, if that's you, you know, then yeah, please, please get in touch. Um, and uh, Shadow Monster, yeah. Um, Shadow Monster's most recent find was the Team of the Cyberman Second Doctor for £20. Wonderful figure. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. I got hold of that one a while back now, but um, again, for a sort of similar price. Um, just just loose, you know, um, and it, it was a good bargain. Um, so, so good for you. Good for you. And um, we have got uh, Woodward. Woodward. Third row, second in, is that six in five's outfit? Let's have a look. Third row, uh, second in. Yes, that's the uh, the regeneration figure for the sixth Doctor, like from the final moments of the Caves of Androzani. Um, and it goes for quite a bit, as we'll probably we'll get on to, I think, um, very, very shortly, looking at some of these figures on eBay. But that's the other thing as well, on subjects of um, bargains and things. Uh, please let me know in the chats, you know, what, what figure bargains you've picked up, either recently or in previous years. Uh, you know, your best eBay finds and things. Um, I mean, personally speaking, um, what would I say? I don't know, things like, well, th things like that Second Doctor um, variant from Two of the Cybermen, uh, which I, I got like, um, it was Alex, wasn't it? Yeah, for, for a similar price a few years back. Um, there was also the, the Magnus Grill and Mr. Sin with the K1 robots uh, arm and, and disintegrated gun. I got that. It was in the packaging, but without the, um, like the, the outer packaging. It had the inner packaging, so like the inner thing, and they were affixed to them. But the outer like bubble was missing basically, um, and I got that for sort of 25, 30 quid, which I was very pleased with. The final part that I needed for the K1 robot, uh, of course, the K1 robot is very topical at the moment given the uh, the, the, the recent uh, B and M news. Uh, what have we got in the chat? Um, do, do, do. Yeah, Shadow Monster talking about the Sixth Doctor. Um, <laughs> One, there's one apparently on eBay, signed, in box, signed by Colin Baker, 450 quid. Yes, um, it, it could be a bit of an issue, that one, I think. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get on to that very shortly. 
The Theory of Science has the Cassandra Davros from Classic and Rachnos. But we'll buy two more for you. Um, okay. If you want to buy me some, <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd be, I'd be uh, very grateful. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, what else have we got? Steyer. Hello, Steyer. Um, Steyer has just picked up History of the Daleks set six, which is weird because sets five and seven were in stock long before. Yeah, so um, so with, with, with that, um, basically with those sets, for anyone that doesn't know, they released them slightly out of order to get more variation on the shelf, essentially. So rather than having sets five and six on the shelf at the same time, so two sets of um, you know, 60s Daleks, essentially, at the same time, um, they they decided, Aldio decided to have, you know, one 60s pack, one 70s pack. So it was the um, Power of the Daleks, set five, and then Day of the Daleks, set seven, on the shelf in the autumn. And then, as part of the most recent wave, we've got uh, set six, Eve of the Daleks, and set eight, uh, Planet of the Dalek, which, which I, I, again, very recently picked up myself, actually. Um, in fact, I'll probably just... If I just uh, turn that off for a second, I'll just grab one off the shelf. Um, I was very impressed with these figures, actually. Because obviously they have this little nifty feature in them. Uh, if I just turn the camera back on. There we go. Um, yeah, here. So they have this very nifty feature that wasn't revealed to start with uh, in the initial press release and photos and stuff. Uh, there we go. But um, you can basically lift up their heads, and they have a little mutant inside, uh, which you know you'll probably know if you're watching this. But yeah, it's a really cool feature that, and that was a real game changer for me for these Daleks. You know, originally that wasn't a set that I was very excited by, uh, set eight. But now having them in hand with that feature, it's just like, hmm, yeah, like that, <laughs> like that a lot. So um, yeah, there's a planet Dalek. Uh, very, very happy to have some of those. Um, let's look at some of your bargains before we go any further. Some bargains uh, from the past. So, Shadow Monster found the Destiny Bomber Dalek. Yeah, very taxifly um, referring to it as, as the Bomber Dalek there, because I think the officially that figure was released as the Suicide Dalek, which is perhaps not not the best way uh, to refer to it. But yeah, um, you got that for £25 at Comic-Con. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Very, very good. Um, crikey, The Resistance got 10 new series Cybermen for £10 last year from eBay. That's one Cybermen for a pound times 10. Mad. Absolutely mad. Lucky, lucky you. <laughs> Um, move making media. Yeah, if you want to give your friend a call, that'd be great. Uh, if you like, no, no, no pressure, no pressure from anyone. But um, yeah, be be cool to complete some of these gaps. Um, Ethan something. A couple of years ago, Ethan found oh again a suicide Dalek for twenty six pounds with an extra couple of damaged Cyber Cybermen as well. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it's great to see that. Uh, what, like, two people have found that that rare, you know, bomber, uh, destiny, whatever you want to call it, da Dalek, um, which is, of course, on the photo, so if, you, if anyone's not aware of that, what which one it is, the, um, the one that sort of looks like it's got sweets or, or tablets around its uh, midsection, the yellow bits, uh, it's the second uh, row down, sort of, what, one, two, three, four, five, sixth in from the left, uh, that particular variant. Um... Any other bargains? Put them in the chat if you've got them. I'll quickly read out a few more. Shadow Monster again. Third Doctor and Sea Devil. Brand new for £55. Not bad. Um, Genesis Davros for free. Yeah, I uh, did the same myself, actually. I was very lucky to get Genesis Davros for... I and mean, it wasn't quite for free, actually. But it wasn't for very much um, back in the summer. Um, and First Doctor and Dalek for £45. Was that the... The invasion, Dalek invasion of Earth one, I'm assuming. Um, I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Otherwise, it could be the Toys R Us one, I suppose. Um, do, do, do. Um, 
Ha, hello, um, Oliver Purvis. Have you completed Battles in Time? Um, no, that, that sort of has just come to a bit of a standstill. <laughs> like, occasionally, um, again, like, some people get in touch with me and are like, oh, do you want to do a trade, or do you want to, you know, uh, I don't know, I've got some of the cards you're missing, or do you want me to check against your list, and they send me a few. Um, so I've had a, a bit of that recently, a couple of, of people, um, which I'm very grateful for, thankful for, obviously. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's a long, a long game really getting them. Um, you know, again, there are some, like, there are the commons and things that I probably could get if I really wanted to, but I don't know, I'm just taking my time with it, you know, it's more fun that way and, uh, and finding them, you know, that, that, that way. Um, do, do, do. The theory of science says if we get a funny challenge vid, I'll send my toys and get two for you. Okay. I guess that's a deal I could get behind <laughs> if we formalise that agreement somehow. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Alex Rooney, does the dome stuff swivel? Uh, still swivel, I think you mean. Uh, or, yeah, swivel still, whatever. Um, so yeah, it does. On, on this planet Dalek, I'm assuming you, you're referring to there. So yeah, it still you know, goes goes round. Uh, but also you can... That probably shouldn't... Oh, that just come out. Uh... There we go. Start a place a moment. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't recommend yeah trying to open it and turn it at the same time as I just tried to do. But yeah, you can turn it and you can lift it up like that. Very, very cool. Uh, nifty feature there. Uh, and the time figures for £10 each. Not bad. That's from Steyr. Uh, strategic Dalek for £20. Is that the... Um, one of the big Finnish ones from B and M is that I I don't know which one you mean maybe one of those, um, do do do, fifty p for the Utopia of Derek Jacobi Master and John Sim in clothing not bad at all not bad a quid for your little master pair um, not bad not bad, and uh, do 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 I think then. I think then, yes, yeah. so um, that's probably it for the moment then, for, for general chat. But let's move on to the main event, I think. Just a couple of, uh, answer a couple of queries quickly. Um, Alex Rooney, um, are you going to do breakdowns for the themes from Flux, the, the soundtrack? Um, I love the breakdowns of Yaz, Ryan and Graham's themes you've done. Thank you very much. Um, I love doing them, and it was great to, to kind of, raise awareness of uh, of those motifs um so yeah I'll definitely be doing more of those just not quite worked out yet what form they're going to take whether i'm going to be covering you know like dan's theme say or going through each episode and listing the main themes and how they sort of uh, are used throughout the series or I, I don't know something like that may or maybe a, a blur of the two um so so there we go Oh, the, the blue strategist Dalek, of course, style. Yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Um, Alex Rooney, the, the ninth doctor with disco dancing legs, Martha Donna, and some Cybermen for one pound each in a charity shop about two years ago. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, in terms of charity shops, finds myself. I got um, the I think Dalek sack. It was missing his gun, but I had a spare, so it was okay. And um, I got him in a charity shop for like fifty p or a quid. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else like that. I, I can't, nothing springs to mind, but I will say if I remember anything. Um, so, 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 so. That is enough general chitter chatter for the moment. Let's move on to um, looking for some of these figures on eBay, just seeing what we can or can't find, probably more accurately. Um, so. Do keep throwing into the chat your uh, bargain finds from the past and things. Um, it'd be great to hear about all of that, you know. Uh, please leave a like if you're enjoying this. And, yeah, just keep throwing stuff into the chat and I'll respond to it when I can. But, um, yeah, for the moment, for the moment then, these figures. What, what should we begin with? Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to get throughout all of them. Um, goes without saying, I think. Um, so, I guess maybe let, let's start off with, with the easiest thing 
to find on here. It's like the thing on this list that we think we can find for the very cheapest or the very best bargain or best price given what it is. Um, so, what do we think? I'm thinking maybe one of the new series ones for that. Um, maybe like the Clockwork Droid or uh, the Jadoon maybe. I'll tell you what, let's go for the for the Jadoon. The Jadoon. So let's take a look. Uh, if we just take that off there. There we go, eBay. Here it is. Uh, smooth, I know. So, a Jadoon figure. Uh, so I've got the, the, the grey variant, the, the one that's right there. Um, but we are looking for the, the pink variant or the brown. or It has different names, you know. But the one that basically has a, a slightly different... Uh, Different uh, skin tone compared to the uh, the grey variant. So oh, I've gone to highest price by mistake. Let's go to lowest price. That might help. Uh, first of all, um, in fact, let me just get the chat up at the same time so I'm not missing anything. Um, okay, I think I've cracked this now. Uh, do, do, do. So bear with me. Apologies. Um, yeah. Right, so I can now see the chats, and I can see uh, the eBay thing, and all the stream stuff that I need to see as well. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, let's take a look. What What is the cheapest one of these we can find? What do we think? Cracking my eyes are being drawn to the chat here, actually, um, because there are a few more bargains coming in. So we've got... Um, a rock... <laughs> Erotic Foreheads says that uh, they have three sets left for the collection. Their collection, excluding the Daleks and Doctor Variants. Um, so City of Death set, Invasion of Time set, and the Rogue Cyberman set. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, not bad, yeah. I, I thought they'd, they'd be fairly easy. The Invasion of Time set goes for quite a bit, and so does the um, City of Death one, to be fair. Uh, I mean, I got the, the Rogue Cyberman one back a few years back when it was going for, like, 20 quid on eBay and stuff, like, with free postage. A seller got hold of a load of those, and, like, the um, the same time, things like the sound effects, Daleks, the Silver Nemesis Ace figure, um, things like that were going pretty cheap. Um, I'm trying to think of something else, like the the other Perry set, the Androzani one. Um yeah, they 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 had a period where where they were really cheap. Oh, in terms of bargains, we've got um, we've got Will Newland's got a Coal Hill set for twenty pounds. Not bad. I mean, that is the real retail price. Sorry, I suppose. Um, an electric uh, electronic sixties Dalek for a tenner. That is very very good. Very 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 good. Um. Two Wave 2 Ice Warriors and the Brig and the Auton from the 1970s B&M set for £30. Not bad. Um, that's from Keith. In fact, actually, my Ice Warrior, I got that boxed in John Lewis, uh, sort of circa 2013. Um, it was before I was properly interested in the classic stuff. I just saw it on the shelf and it was reduced. So I can't remember how much to, but it was reduced. So it must have been yeah, like after that wave had been on sale for a bit. Um, that was a great find as well. It was sort of tied in with the Ice Warriors returning to television in Cold War. Um, but here's the one that, that my eye was particularly drawn to. Shadow Monster says he got uh, got a friend who found a black and white First Doctor for four pounds in a charity shop. Four pounds. That is absolutely bonkers. I think we'd be hard pressed to find something that, that, that tops that, but. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the bar has been set now. If you've got anything that, that, that tops that uh, in terms of bargains, let me know in the chat. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. The Jadoon, of course, yeah. So, um, quite a few of the grey ones. I, I bet the, uh, the, the pink one is rarer by the looks of things, the pinky brown one, which is the one we're looking for here. So there's one there. Buy it now. Loose, 849. Not bad, I guess, but I'd want them in a box if I was going to get hold of this. Um, so in terms of the cheapest boxed one, um, is that one there, I think? 
that's one there. Yeah, that I think that's the that's the uh, the, the lighter one, isn't it? Like lighter skin tone, and that is fifteen quid buy it now or seven pounds plus three pound postage. Um, if if you got that and it didn't have any extra bids or anything, so yeah, a tenner for that. I I I'd, I'd go with that. Um, I'm not going to today just because you know. And you know, besides, it's an auction anyway, so I, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Um, but but yeah, yeah yeah, that's that's pretty good. But they do seem to be hard to find though uh, that, that that particular variant rather than the um, the grey one, as opposed to the grey one, and of course the more recent one as well. Um, J Crossan, the best bargain I probably ever got was a Tower of the Docks set for twenty quid, sealed in twenty nineteen. Not bad. I mean, cheaper than retail price. Um, yeah, I paid 30 quid for that back in the day. So <laughs> uh, there was a period as well yeah, with, with that one. That was one of the sets a few years back that you could get quite cheaply online. Um, it's mad how, how that happened. Mad, mad, mad. Um, so what shall we look at next? I'm probably going to check the uh, chat stats and thing. Uh, stream chat. Um, stream stats, sorry, I should say. I've uh, got a good number of viewers, 30-odd viewers watching, which is great. Uh, please leave a like if you're enjoying it. And please do uh, post some thoughts in the comments about your best figure bargains. Um, I am now going to take a look at something else. So let's go for a, a classic series one, maybe, next. Um, oh, boy. So I... <laughs> well, pretty much all the... well. Yeah, all the classic series figures here that I'm missing are rare. There's just no beating around the bush here. They're all rare. Um, some of them are rarer than others, ish, but they're all they're all rare. I mean, um, something like the the stealth Cyberman, um, which obviously comes in with the, the sixth Doctor from Attack of the Cybermen. Um, a, a while back, that set. Uh, was was fairly cheap as well, like you know, retail price 30, 35 quid. Um, these days, if we go from let's go from highest price downwards, um, but yeah, I mean that's it. There's not even one there in this country because they're all in the US and Australia. If you go to the uh, the sold ones, um, okay, forty quid. Well, a bit over forty quid. I mean, I, I'd probably pay. If I was getting it boxed, maybe like, yeah, thir well, ideally like close to 30, maybe up to 40, maybe, uh, but not any higher, I wouldn't have thought, uh, really. Um, yeah, Shadow Monster is remembering in the chat, uh, buying all those those sets I was talking about. So the Rogue Cyberman sets, yeah, Sil, Shara's Jack, the Promise of Mars set, the Three Doxers set, Demons, Claws of Axos, Time Monster, and Castro Valva sets. All for 2025 quid uh, back in 2017. Yeah, yeah good, good, good times indeed. Good, good times. Um, theory of science. I, I've not intentionally blanked you. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you want me to do some challenge videos, then I'm sure it could be arranged. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how I feel. I've um, got a question from Rob Kernock about the appeal behind figure collecting as someone who doesn't collect the figures themselves um or but is potentially interested by the look of it um so i'll perhaps answer that sort of generally over the course of the uh the stream really um dw sebling got the the master and tardis computer bank tardis set boxed for 15 pounds a couple of years ago not bad not bad i mean again that's one of the sets that back in the day there was leftover stock of that, like, you know, back in uh, five years ago or, or even like three or four years ago. Um, whereas now, I mean, as we'll do, we'll do that one next. Um, Master Computer Bank TARDIS. That one is just shot up. Like in terms of the sold ones there, you know, 100 quid, 50 or 60 quid basically there. No way would I be paying that to get a figure I've already got plus a sort of rotocast TARDIS. <laughs> No way, I'm afraid. I mean, maybe like 30 quid at a push or something like that. Uh, yeah, and then again, all the ones for sale. It's it's not a great story, unfortunately. Um, very, very sadly. Maybe if we put in the 
Time Monster Master Talis. Maybe we'll get some more results. Oh, no, okay, nothing. It just uh, completely... No. Okay, never mind. Um, do, do, do. Chloe Butler, not Doctor Who, but I found a Lego Brickheads Kylo Ren for £3.50. And that's that goes for £28. Not bad. Um, not bad at all. Um, Shadow Monster is... Oh, yeah, talking about my uh, clouds with Miles, about the uh, the one we did about figures. Um, oh, which you were watching last night, apparently. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Um, thank you. Uh, good timing, actually, because we've got some more on the way. Well, we've had one of them already. Um, yes, today. We've got another one on the way tomorrow, which I'll talk about a bit later, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm reminiscing about when those sound effects Daleks were like £10 each. Um, that that was that was a good time. Yeah, again, all back, you know, around about, you know, five years ago or so, or even four. Um, yeah, there, there was a load of stock from, I think, from the US, basically. That just ended up coming over here and was on eBay and Amazon for really cheap, uh, with free postage and stuff. It was it was a good time. It was a good time. Mister Insect Nasty got the third Doctor and uh, Silver Dalek. All right, so the the, the Death of the Daleks one back in Christmas uh, 2009, Sorry, uh, but sadly the neck at uh, the leg. Mince my words here. Sorry, the Doctor's leg has now snapped off. Oh, snapped off at the time instantly and. Um, Never got a replacement. Well, that's sad. That's sad. Especially, I mean, let's do that one. The um, the third Doctor and and Death to the Dalek, Dal and uh, Dalek's Dalek. Um, okay, actually. So the you can get the the third Doctor loose for forty quid. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I was expecting more, but in terms of actually getting the the figure se uh, set seal, in fact, it's, there aren't any listings there. Are there for it? It's uh. Oh, what was that there? It's not a cedar. What's going on here? Like some custom that someone's done with the uh, Planet of the Daleks figure. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, if we go on to the, the sold ones there. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, actually. Oh, 60 quid. I mean, it's not ideal, but it could be a lot worse, to be fair. 35 quid for the figure of the third Doctor himself. By himself, okay. Um, I was expecting a bit more than that, maybe, but but then again, you know, with all these sets, with all the the, the two packs of like you know, your Doctor and your your Dalek, or um, I mean, same with the the third Doctor and maggots, or the third Doctor and um, what's the other one? The Sea Devil, of course. All those sets now just go for like you know upwards of 60, 70, 80 quid. It, it, it's mad, absolutely mad. Um, Oh yeah, good, good comment there from G-Man Panthro, I think, um, is, is how you'd say that. Yeah, telling me to put on the, the filter for UK only listings. Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? And we can filter out all those uh, Australian and US ones. Um, thank you for that. Best deal uh, that Mike Searle got was the fourth Doctor adventure set sealed with the classic Wave 2 Pyramids of Mars Mummy and the Glowing Eyes Vok Robot for under £200. Okay. I mean, mm, well, yeah, I mean, that set goes for loads. So I don't, know, I don't know what I'd call a good deal for that one, to be honest. Uh, I, mean, I know it retailed for like, I think about 20 quid or. 30 or I don't know, 40 something like that um but i'm glad that you you got that for a price that you were happy with um erotic foreheads there's been a ridiculous increase of some of the older classic sets over a few months this year the seeds of Do a doom set and sea of death sets apparently could get for 35 to 50 pounds this year really early this year could you get them for that price i know back in the day you could but I don't know. Could you? I, I know the, the Seeds of Doom set, actually, that is one of the ones that was still knocking about a few years ago. Um, but I didn't, I didn't get that at the time. Uh, but yeah, you're right, you know, 80 quid now. Um, not not ideal at all. Not ideal. Um, Rob Kernock found the Davros limited edition DVD set, IF, from about 20 years ago or so, I think. 
uh, from a local charity shop for £15. Not bad. Not bad. Um, yeah, we've got comments in the chat as well about that Time Monster Tard. It's obviously it's an episode that people aren't a massive fan of generally, so it's uh, even stranger, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that, that it goes for so much. Um, but anyway, so let's do the other... Um, Let's check the, the stream health. We've got, uh, how many people currently? 37. Oh, no. I think that's at the highest point, mate. Like, have we got 37 at the moment? Something like that. 30-something. Um, if you have joined recently, hello. We are looking at uh, expensive Doctor Who figures on eBay, basically. Um, so let, let, let's do the other um, third Doctor 2-packs. Um, so the, the Sea Devil one. Um... Highest price, yeah, I mean, again, there are none of them currently for sale, which doesn't really surprise me, it's disappointing, but uh, and yeah, there are a few of them abroad there. Uh, but if we go on the, the sold ones, I mean, it's going to be a similar story, you know, like 70, 80 quid probably, yeah, 75 quid. Um, so, you know, and then the, the third Doctor himself, yeah, 50 quid. Uh, one for 30 quid, but not, not too bad, not too bad. Um, all things considering. But yeah, I mean, um, I, I guess if I really wanted to psych myself up, I, I could probably like, if I justify it as spending like 30 quid on the third Doctor and 30 quid on the Sea Devil, like 60 quid or so overall, you know, then I guess I could justify a high price. But then again, you know, it, it's not really ideal, is it? Not really ideal. DW Boy 14 has been watching my... Um, um, Man and Miles's collection limited edition versus standard Blu-ray video uh, because they're wanting to complete their collection of the collection box sets. They're very nice, very nice. Um, are you getting the um, the the standard editions then or the limited editions? Let me know in the chat. Um, let me know. Let me know. Um, Keith got every classic Cyberman. Uh, and most of the new series ones as well, in a big box, for 90 quid. That's not bad. I mean, especially um, once we're finished with, let's do the, the, um, the Death Dalek first, that two-pack. And then we'll move on to the Revenge of the Cybermen um, set, perhaps, next. Because that is the only uh, classic Cyberman variant I'm missing. Or, bar the, the stealth Cyberman as well. But the, the, the Revenge uh, Cyber Leader and Cyberman, that's like the only design that I'm missing from the collection. And that goes for such stupid prices. Like, again, it's one of those sets that back in the day, uh, I remember seeing it, like, in Forbidden Planet stores. Not personally, but, like, photos of people that people have taken in other stores. Um, and it was on their website as well, for like, reduced to about 20 quid. And um, I passed up on the opportunity to buy it. Mad, mad, mad. And it now goes for, like, five times that price. As we'll see. We'll see that in a moment. Um, but... Oh, hang on, have we done this one alright? We've done that one, have we? But yeah, we've done that one. It was the Maggots one. That was the final one. Uh, third Doctor and Maggots that we were going to check. Um, yeah, again, sold for 90 quid, sold for 75. Dare I see if there are any that haven't sold, that are listed. Uh, oh, hang on. Poor, oh, no, no, no. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, dear. That is not good, not good at all. For a third Doctor variant and three little insects, 250 quid. Um, no, absolutely not. <laughs> From 12 pounds a month for 24 months. Um, ha, no, no way whatsoever. That is atrocious. I hope that never sells, because if it does, then the buyer is taking advantage of someone there. That is mad. They have some other things. Let's see what else they've got. Um, the Hoiks for a reasonable price. I mean, that's a bit expensive. The Tenth Doctor and the Time one as well. Oh, that wretched uh, 25 baby adipose. 100 quid for that rare Captain Jack. Oh, dear. What is happening? Um, 250 again. 
Oh, wow. Um, yeah, let, let's swiftly move on, move away from that. That is not good at all. Um, let's just spend a quick moment in the chat. Um, movie Making Media Jack wants to know what was or is the best figure that I own? Um, I mean, it's such a tricky question, that one. I think at the moment I'm I'm really pleased with these guys, the uh, the Planet of the Daleks, Daleks from B&M, and, and also the um, Five Doctors set, an Earthshock set, which I've picked up recently as well. Uh, still yet to track down the First Doctor TARDIS set, and then eventually the, the Evil of the Daleks one as well, when I feel like it, because they're just uh, duplicates of figure I already own, basically. But... Um, yeah, I, I would say those at the moment because they've they've filled a nice gap on the shelf or a couple of gaps. They've made the uh, third Doctor era look more complete with with some third Doctor era Daleks at last uh, that aren't just the, uh, the the light wave Dalek and the Supreme, which were the ones I had before. Um, and especially the fifth Doctor era, they've they've really expanded that section of the shelf, um, which is it's been great to see. Great to have some fifth Doctor monsters in the form of the rest on Warrior robots. Uh, your, your cyber leader from the five doctors set as well um, of course the third doctor from the five doctors set though he's not a monster um, and your, your Earthshock android just really great to have those in the collection uh, really really nice releases um, Jay Crossum wants to know what's the most expensive Doctor Who eBay purchase that I have made so for him it was the stolen earth set with the Supreme Dalek and Davros yep for a painful £75 Oh, I got that one about five or six years ago uh, on eBay. It was in the box, but it had been opened and like put back inside. But they were in great condition, to be honest, uh, all things considered. And um, I got that for about 35, maybe 40 quid on auction. Um, which I was pleased with. But in terms of my most expensive ever... Um, for like a single figure, I got the the face of evil Leela figure for thirty quid, or thereabouts, um, last year, uh, which isn't a bad price for that figure actually, um, but I don't know if I spent anything upwards of that really oh, on a set. I don't know. Um, like to be honest, the ones I've got, I've usually tended to buy them when they are a good price, like with the classic era sets. I've tended to buy the ones that are still available, or were still available. Um, and so I'm just left now with, with all the ones that... Uh, let me just put the image back up. All the ones that, that aren't readily available. You know, all the, the rare ones. I'm kind of just thinking, oh gosh, I hope they come down in price or get re-released. Or someone puts a nice offer into me, um, sends me one of them. That'd be nice. But, but yeah... Um, Mad, really. So, yeah, I, I don't think I've gone too, too overboard with anything really in the past. Uh, I've usually just bought things, you know, as they come out for retail price or um, just, you know, I've bought the ones, like, prioritised the ones that are fairly low. And now that they're all out of the way, I'm now at the point where I've hit a bit of a brick wall, really, in terms of the classic ones, because, yeah, like, all, all the Daleks on that image, they're going to get re-released in the... Um, the, the, the history of the Dalek sets. In fact, that um, planet drone Dalek there, the sound effects one, not going to bother with that because I, I now have uh, there we go, these guys. So that can go off the list uh, for, for one thing. Um, then obviously we're going to get some Death to the Daleks, Daleks hopefully in History of the Daleks next year. And then Des uh, Destiny ones as well, maybe the year after that. And um, your other 80s Daleks. So all the Daleks on there with the exception of maybe like, I don't know, the, the Imperial destroyed Dalek and the Emperor Davros. I don't know if they're, they're going to get re-released or not. Uh, or the other Davroses, of course. Um, but but most of them are going to get re-released. Uh, perhaps in improved variations and variants uh, compared to the ones that went before. So I'm happy to, to hold out for those. Um, but yeah, as for everything else, <laughs> no chance really. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just take a look at the chat. Um, wow, Shadow Monster paid twenty pounds for oh, just for the maggots. I was going to say if that was for the third Doctor and maggots, that'd be a great deal. But no, just for the the maggots by themselves. Uh, still not a bad price, but then yeah, 
it is essentially just like three bits of plastic, isn't it? So not not ideal. Um, the theory of science is offering to buy me figures <laughs> if I do challenge videos. Um, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe. Um, if we can formalise the ar arrangement, then then sure. <laughs> I'm not going to say no, but um, it sounds a bit fishy. But but no, well, well you know. If uh, if you want to do that, Ollie Linklater got the the Master and Axon set for twenty seven quid. Okay, yeah, um, very very good indeed, very good. Um, yeah, we've got a suggestion from from Mike Searle talking about buying the sealed sets in bulk, um, in, in in job lots, and then you know breaking them down and picking out the ones you want. Yeah, um, it's not a bad suggestion. Yeah. Um, I think I have done that once or twice before, like with single figures, you know, buying a, a job lot uh, to get hold of, 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 of one figure that I was really after. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so. Shadow Monster talking about the uh, the Shadow Tardis there, which I, again, that's another one that I was really lucky to get this this year for a, 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 a good a good deal, a good arrangement. Um I mean, yeah, I have got that one, but I, I will just um, look up current prices because it is like the, out of all the uh, B&M Tardis sets, it is the one that now goes for the most, I think it would be fair to say. Um, I mean, pff, what? Oh, dear. I mean, this set retailed for 20 quid in B&M bargains, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, dear. Deary me, it's not good, is it? It's not good. I don't know why it's so rare either, because it... Oh, I don't know. I guess it's because of the, the tooling, actually. Like, the the lamp tooling is a one-of-a-kind. It's probably not going to get released again. Um, whereas, like, the tool and all the other TARDIS sets, uh, possibly with the exception of, like, the uh, the windows and the roof on the, the first Doctor TARDIS that's just been released, um, with the exception of that... Um, like all the other TARDIS use interchangeable parts that have been used more than once so they're not as rare I guess for that reason but um, yeah then you get a load of DVDs instead uh, below that yeah it is um, oh it's not good I mean let's see how much people actually paid for these you know oh dear oh no oh I can't bear it it's, uh, it's not good it's not good at all. The cheapest one's gone for... It's out of the box. The cheapest pairing of both of them for... 50 quid. Um, oh, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad I've got that one now because, yeah, it was just never going to happen otherwise unless someone had reached out to me. So, so that was really great. Um, poo, poo, poo. Okay, so Shadow Monster is currently in b and I think, by the looks of things in the chat, looking for the history of the Dalek set. It's going to keep us updated on, on, on what he finds, so uh, that's, that's fun. Um, do, do, do. We've got uh, some talk about the Remembrance of the Daleks uh, four-pack. Of course, all of those, those packs go for loads these days. I mean, like, the Revelation one I got for retail pro oh. oh no. I just oh no 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 sorry I can't even continue. That is absolutely mad. What on earth is going on there? Oh dear. E dear me. Um Yeah, I I'll leave you with that thought as I just um continue what I was talking about there. So all of these um these four packs where you get like four Daleks or three Daleks and a, a Doctor or two Daleks and a Doctor and Davros. Um, they're all very rare these days. I've got the, the Revelation of the Daleks one, the sixth Doctor one at retail price from Forbidden Planets like five years ago or whatever. Um, like for 35 quid. Um, but yeah, they, they now all go for like a hundred at least. Some of them for like 200. It's mad. It's... Um, Oh, it isn't bad thinking about. Um, theory of Science. Yeah, if, if you want to get in touch with me, um, get in touch with me on Twitter or something, on DM, and we'll take it from there, if you want to get in touch with me. Um, 
Okay, Chloe Butler talking about the um, the Lego set there. Uh, we'll have to look at that. I'll park that thought. Um, the Lego set from 2015. Apparently that now nearly goes for two hundred, nearly two hundred pounds, which is mad. Um, yeah, I got that one at the time, so I haven't really been in the loop about how much it goes for these days. But we'll look at that in a minute. Um, <laughs> Rob Kernick is asking where to start on the figure sets. Um, well, uh, yeah, I, I can imagine if I was coming into it now, it'd be, it would be incredibly daunting, really, incredibly daunting. Um, I, I would just start with the B&M ones, to be honest, because you stand the best chance with those. You know, they're, they're new, they're out at the moment, um, they're fairly readily available. Can be a bit iffy on the distribution side, but, um, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to get hold of. Um, and some of the old B&M sets, like on Amazon Go for a tenner these days, or less than that, like seven or eight quid for three figures, which is a really great deal. So um, I would start there, really, if you're going to start. Um, and just be aware of the fact that, yeah, you, you're going to gonna have to cut some corners, or you know, you're know, not going to be able to get everything necessarily, or at least not straight away, um, for a good price, unless you want to pay loads for them, because, because yeah. Um, this is where I'm at, unfortunately. Although, having said that, a lot of the figures that were rare once upon a time have been re-released via B&M. Uh, things like your Silver Nemesis, Nemesis Cyberman Cyber Leader, um, the classic Sontarans, although they're not as good in my opinion, because particularly Lynx isn't the right shade of brown, but putting that aside, um, you can now get classic Sontarans for a reasonable price. Um, things like that, you know. So, it, it's not as hard as it could be because we are still getting those those re-releases and things, but it's also not, not an easy thing to do, collecting figures. Um, and that's interesting. Erotic Foreheads um, is uh, talking about the Planet of the Daleks, um, so the sound effects Dalek, which was released a while back. Which she says has gone down in price since the the BM version came out. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no. I just I, I'm not gonna spend much longer on this because, you know. But sound effects, smoke weapons Dalek for sixty seventy quid basically. It's just bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Um oh dear. Well that's interesting actually. This set here. That's cheaper than I thought it would be, to be honest. Um, that has gone for more in the past. That's gone for more like 70, 80, 90, you know, those sorts of prices. So that's not too bad. Well, I, I say that. He's still paying like 25 quid a figure. But yeah, a lot of these Remembrance Daleks loose as well. Um, let, let's let's gloss over that. Um, so what we're going to do first, the Lego set. Let's do that um, Lego set first. Doctor Who Lego, see how much that goes for these days. A brief little detour. Okay, so sold listings, yeah, 175, 150, 20. Yeah, okay, not not great. Um, are any of them under 100 quid? <laughs> not looking good, is it? Um, okay, some of them built sets by the looks of things, ones that have been pre-owned, built already. Um, it's not impossible to get hold of by the looks of it. Uh, this one, not impossible. Not impossible. Um, aha, Rebel, Ty uh, Rebel Time Lord 2000. Is that what it stands for? Correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the chat, sorry. Um, has entered the chat, hello, hello. Um, Rebel Time Lord, whatever it is. RT2000, sorry, I think I've looked at that. Um, I think I'm thinking of Rebel Whovian. Never mind. Um, so, I'll just take that filter off. Um, uh, hold on, now we're still on sold items, aren't we? Um, so, in terms of buying it now, yeah, okay, not not great, is it? Yeah, you're looking at 100 quid upwards, really, for a sealed one, which isn't great. Um, although these. These uh, Lego Dimensions packs are still fairly cheap. I would recommend getting those, to be honest, because um, even just for the figures, like you know, the, the game itself is is another thing. But these little figures are pretty cool. Um, 
I remember at the time they, they made it so you had to buy the I don't think there's one of them here, but the 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 pack with the twelfth doctor in the little three pack, you had to buy buy that to get the twelfth doctor in his um in his his actual outfits, which um which which yeah. Was was a bit of a sneaky move from them, but then again you get some nice little um figures in there with him. Okay, that one is now sixty quid. No. No, 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 not good. I think they retailed for about 30 quid, so half the price. Um, I'm right behind the chat. Let's just quickly go through a few of them. Um, do, do, do we have... Um, oh, the Celestial Toy Guys are into the chat. Hello. Um, yeah, the person that got me uh, the, the first Doctor figure recently, uh, the Unearthly Child first Doctor. Very grateful for that. Thank you once again. Um I've got some talk about prototypes from uh, Mike Searle. Yeah, so um, Mike saw the uh, disco dancing effect, uh, disco dancing hologram effect, Ninth Doctor, for nearly 700 quid, apparently. Um, let's see if we can actually find any of those currently on sale. Oh, wow, yeah, that, there it is. There it is. I didn't know you could still get these. Um, or that they were like, still listed on eBay. Yeah, from thirty-three pounds per month for twenty-four months. <laughs> oh dear. Um, let's just leave that up. I'm just going to read some more messages from the chat. Um, ah, so Detail Boy says fourteen says the the character building figures and sets have gone up quite a bit. Uh, okay, I haven't been keeping tabs on on that either. That's interesting. Maybe we'll have a look at those in a in a, in a bit. Um, okay, okay. What else have we uh, got? Huvian Espresso Extra thinks the character options um, online exclusives are going to become really uh, rare. Sorry. Um, yeah. Well. Well. Let, let's look at the look at both of them so far. Um, first of all, this year's exclusive, the, the TARDIS set. Yeah, um, I was I was looking recently, and it was a similar story to what what we've got here. Not too much yet with this one. Like they're the most expensive ones. We go down. Um, <laughs> you get the box for for a tenner. Um, okay, it's not ideal, but you can get it for like third. Well, I guess. With the postage, that's like 30 quid more than the retail price, which isn't amazing. Um, but yeah, they, they seem to not have gone too high over like 50, 60 quid. Whereas they could have gone like over 100 or something. Um, yeah, it seems to sort of um, be you know, 60, 70 quid seems to be the standard for these these days. Or 55, there's one there. Yes, yeah, so this one... Isn't too bad yet, but I'd be interested to look at uh, the the Mechanist Daleks from last year. Uh, we've got some fifty quid, yeah. So you know, not too far over the asking price, the uh, the retail price there. Um, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, and some that have even sold for like forty quid to be honest. So you know, not too bad for that one. In fact, some that have sold for less. Well, uh, only just. It depends if you include the post, I suppose. Um, the Mechanist Daleks. Um, sorry, I'm just keeping up with the chat. Trying to keep up with the chats. Um, yeah, Ollie Linklater. I remember seeing the Revenge of the Cyberman set. That's what we need to look up, actually. We need to remember that. Uh, for 20 quid in Forbidden Planet. Um... All right, but his parents got him the the Age of Steel set instead because that was five quid cheaper. You know, I can't can't lie. You know, fifteen quid for those side men is a good deal. Fair enough. Fair enough. I have had a couple of suggestions as well about um, Facebook Marketplace um, from a couple of people um, talking about um, maybe looking there for for some of these. Uh, figures as well yeah that's something i've done in the past um i've never actually bought anything that way i once inquired about like a an amelia pond uh, doctor experience one 
and the guy never got back to me. <laughs> but yeah, maybe, you know, all joking aside, that is also a very good way um, to look for things. So perhaps if we've got time, or maybe another day or whenever, we, we might look there as well. Um, yeah, Facebook, Facebook, it, 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 it's, it's not bad, not bad. Um, do, 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 do. So I think I'm just about to date with the chat now. Um, but do keep the messages coming. Do leave a like if you haven't liked the video already. Um, that'd be great fun. We've been going for about an hour now. Um, so we'll, we'll keep going for a bit and just, just see what happens really. Um, crikey, Shadow Monster got the San Diego uh, Comic Con exclusive uh, Planets of Fire set for 64 quid back in 2018. Not, not bad. But yeah, as you say, you know, it is just essentially another uh, fifth Doxa figure at variant and uh, another Ian <laughs> Chesterton uh, variant, I suppose, in a manner of speaking, because it uses the same body, doesn't it? So yeah, you're essentially paying like 50, 60 quid for a head, like an Anthony Ainley head. Um, so I'm making a Starlix. Oh, okay, so they're not too bad either, to be honest. 60 quid, 50 quid. Oh, then again, how much these retailed for like twenty five, didn't they? It was it was a cheaper set than the uh, the snowman Tardis, abominable snowman even, forty forty quid. Okay, so again, it could be worse. Uh, but perhaps in years to come, those ones will go for a bit more. Um, but let's just quick fire. There have been a couple of things that I've said I'm going to look up, which I haven't yet. So the um, the planet uh, sound effects Dalek. Uh, let's see if that's shot down in price at all. Um, Apparently not, according to this listing. <laughs> 70 quid, ouch. No, no, no. Especially, I mean, why would you pay that much when the the, the current uh, B&M variant is, oh, there we go, sorry, is, is, is just so much better, like infinitely better. I mean, look, it has a head that, that uh, hinges off even when you don't want it to, it just flicks. Amazing. And you can get two of them for 20 quid. Why Why would you, you pay 70 quid for that? That's mad. Um, Absolutely mad. But there are a couple of cheap ones, maybe. Okay, 35 quid. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, to be honest, they've always gone for quite a bit, those sound effects Daleks. So I wouldn't say that's, that's much of a change, really. But, but maybe in months to come, we'll see even more of a change. Um, crikey. The most that Hoovian Espresso Extra has paid for a, a single figure is a real-time sixth doctor for 75 quid although it was signed apparently by colin baker presumably so you know swings and roundabouts swings and roundabouts um yeah the, the celestial toy gazer is saying there um about how the the, the first doctor an earthly child first doctor that they uh they very kindly kind of sent me um they got it from a a car boot sale just for a few quid um, and it was basically daylight robbery. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I'm very glad you did because because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to add that to my collection. So that's fantastic. Arrange the side men. Um, figure. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so there aren't any sets listed. You can buy the side mat loose for twenty quid if that floats your boats. Um, oh, it's a custom there of the the Vogue, which is quite cool. That's pretty damn good, actually. So it's a Francesca the Vampire uh, figure, isn't it? With like a 3D printed head or something and repainted. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> um, Shallow Monster, did you find any uh, Daleks in B&M? Let me know if, you, if you've got that, uh, that point yet of, uh, of checking the shelves. Because I know you said you were on the hunt. Um, in the meantime, let's have a look at the soul listings. Do I want to do this? Do I really want to do this? Oh, oh no, I can't. I mean, it, well, to be fair, there is a, a massive drop between those top two listings, like of 100%, 100% drop there. Um, but, I mean, this is just unforgivable, isn't it? It's... Uh, that's ten times the original price. And it's a set that includes basically three versions of the same figure. 
two of which are identical, one of which just has a tiny bit of uh, variation or on the paint deco on the head, and a side map, but 200 quid, it's just, uh, it's not happening, it's not happening. <laughs> not happening at all. Um, let's check the, uh, the, the stream health. 27 people watching, I think, or something like that. Um, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, if you are watching, please leave a like and please do let me know in the chat um, your your best Doctor Who figure bargains and your most anticipated and, and most wanted figures as well. Um, this is, is, is definitely right at the top of my list at the moment, uh, the, the Revenge Cyberman, because it's the one Cyberman variant that I don't own any of. And um, yeah, to be honest, I, I, I might never own it. <laughs> That's not going to change anytime soon. Uh, like even by themselves, yeah, 40 quid, you know, that's more than the price of the set when it came out. Um, got some talk about the um, the 13 Doctors sets in the chat, yeah. Um, so RT2000 paid 250 quid for that, Ollie Linklater paid 100 quid for it, I actually paid uh, what was it? I think like 80 quid. Yeah, 80 quid for mine uh, back in the day. Um, so basically, yeah, I, I got it at a really good time. It was a similar time of year back in 2016, five years ago. Probably a few weeks beforehand, actually. Sort of um, Black Friday sort of time, early December. And Toys R Us had a deal on where you could get um, 20 pounds off on a 100 pound spend. So I'd reserved a 13 Doctors set anyway. Um, and that was just like a bonus to get 20 quid off it. But obviously to actually make take advantage of that offer, I had to spend 100 quid. And the 13 Doctors set was £19, uh, £99.99. £99, so 1p under. So I had to buy something else. So I got like a 8th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver for, for, uh, for a fiver. Sorry, I'm missing my words there. Um, but yeah, to take it over the, the, th the threshold and then... Yeah, I got my um, 30 Doctor set for 80 quid that way. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. Shadow Monster got um, got the Revenge set, this this set here, for 15 quid back in late 15, uh, 2015. Crikey. That is, uh, that is mad. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Um, Rob Kernock says there's a, a Facebook marketplace listing for the limited edition Doc 2 figuring collection Davros for 100 quid. Um, I'm assuming you mean the, um, like the big gigantic one. Um, hang on. I'm assuming you mean, yeah, this one here. Um, I think that's a fairly standard price for this, to be honest. Fairly standard. Um, they they yeah, they they retail for like a bit less uh, a bit less than that, or about about the same, a hundred pounds or thereabouts. I think maybe a little bit less, or maybe that's when they're on sale. I'm thinking of because um, they're often on sale. Um, yeah, Shadow Monster is saying that it, he thinks it's very likely that the. Um, the Revenge Cybermen will get re-released because Al Dura is a massive fan of, of, of that era, the guy in charge of the, uh, the Doctor Who figures. Yeah, it'd be nice. Cause it's like the one thing from season 12 that we haven't... Well, that and the Davros, the, other, the, the two things that we haven't had re-released or, or released. Uh, cause we've had you know, the fourth Doctor and Robot now. Uh, we've had the Sontaran, uh, Sontaran Steyer and Harry Sullivan. We've had Sarah Jane in her khaki outfit from uh, season 12 and yeah so obviously next year we're gonna get some genesis daleks in history of the daleks probably so it's literally just these cybermen and the genesis davros which again i was back very lucky to get hold of this year um but if it wasn't for that i wouldn't have set a chance getting hold of it so um that is is, is due a re-release that figure uh, both these things so yeah fingers crossed fingers crossed that B and M re-release these guys um, in the not too distant future. B 
because it, it would just it would make so much sense. They go for such stupid prices, you know. Come on, come on. <laughs> you know you want to B and M. You know you want to. Uh, do do do. Uh, okay, we've got a few people that have just joined. So let's um, let's just do a little recap of where we're up to. So. This is the uh, the list of figures that I'm currently missing from my collection. And uh, we're currently just going through as many of them as possible. Um, and sort of, yeah, checking eBay for them and seeing how much they're going for, really. Um, Sam Fowler has recently joined. Hello, Sam. Renegade Productions has also recently joined. Hello. Um, Sam got a... F uh, has been starting to collect the Doctor Who DVDs and books very recently. And picked up his first figure today. It was a 2009 Matt Smith for three pounds. Not bad. So I'm guessing that was the um, end of time variant, maybe. Uh, the one where he's in the outfit of, uh, of of Dave Tennant. That one. I'm guessing if it's 2009. Not bad. Not bad. Um, and apparently they have more in, in, in that antique shop where you got it from. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be cool to get hold of some more of them and start a little collection. That'd be cool. Uh, lucky to have, have those available to you. Um, but, yeah, if you are new, um, regular viewers will be sick and tired of me saying it by now. But please do like the video if you're enjoying. And also in the chat, uh, let me know your best figure bargains. I want to hear all about them. Your best figure bargains. Um, I want to hear all about them. Um, and in the meantime then, what what should we look at next from this list? Um, oh, I... I reckon... I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Well, it's not a good idea. I'm going to regret this, but the destroyed Imperial Dalek and Davros, um, possibly like the rarest set ever, with the exception possibly of, of Time Crash, but this one is is mad. Um, so I'll just interrupt one moment. Renegade Productions has apparently found lots of cool uh, rare sets in comic shops. That's cool. Was that recently that you found uh, those sets? Because if so, that is... That's pretty decent, and if they were a good price as well. The Destiny set, Time Warriors set, Revelation, um, Morbius, Seventh Doctor Tardis. Oh, and Shadowmaster has reported back from his visit to B&M. Uh, unfortunately, nothing new, just the Sensorites and Marinus packs, and two of those awful Eleventh Doctor Titans. Oh, God. Um, let, let's just take a moment, I think, to... Uh, just deviate off topic for one moment and talk about these god awful things that um, have recently resurfaced in b and I'll turn that off, there we go um, yeah, so currently if you live in the UK um, you can buy this monstrosity and also um, it's the series 5 variant, not the Series 7 variant, so it is. I think it's. Is it normally the first? Is it that one? I think it might be that one. Oh no, I think it's. I think it's the blue one. I, yeah, I think it's these two. Or maybe it's the Fez one. I can't remember. Anyway, there's a 10th Doxa one and there's an 11th Doxa one. Um, and you can buy both of these currently in BM for 20 quid, but God knows why you'd want to because they look horrific. <laughs> if you're into this sort of stuff, you know this this weird style of the the, the face and stuff, and fair enough. Um, but I I just I I I don't know. I mean, what what is it even meant to be? You know, they're not nice to look at. They're just they're just weird. Um, like fair enough, there's a market for this sort of stuff, but I'm not part of it. <laughs> oh dear. Um, in fact, let's take a quick detour to the uh, the wonderful Doctor Who merchandise uh, site. There's the uh, the most recent uh, release uh, to come in the new year, the, uh, the re-release of the fourth Doctor a robot set. Um, 
a few more bargains in the chat. We've got um, Ben Hollywell, who got the Witch Familiar uh, 12th Doctrine Davros from a B&M in Leicester for five quid. Crikey. Lucky you. That is uh, that is bonkers for a Capalian and uh, a Davros. That's really, really great. £2.50 each. Um, yeah, there was a weird time uh, this time last year, I think because of COVID and everything in 2020 and reduced footfall in, in shops across the board, that B&M suddenly, just before Christmas, um, decided to reduce everything to like dirt cheap. And then after Christmas as well, at the start of this year, um, things went down to like eight quid, five quid. I've heard as well that some of these sets even went down to a quid in bargain bins and stuff. Uh, I didn't see that myself. But um, if I did, then that is just absolutely mad. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming that's how you got hold of that. But it was weird because they re released loads of new stuff like the, the autumn wave of figures last year, the one with um, the Fifth Doctor and, and Tardis from Visitation, um, uh, History of the Daleks 3 and 4, and the three packs with uh, there was the 13th Doctor fan one, there was the 4th and 3rd Doctor Companions one, and the uh, Zygons one, Tower of the Zygons. And all those sets came out, and then only like a month or two later they were reduced, like quicker than usual. And even quicker for those, uh, the two sets, the Coal Hill School one and the Witch's Familiar one, because they literally came out at the start of December, and by like mid-December they were 13 quid, like down from 20. It was mad how quickly they got reduced. Um, absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. Um... Crikey, yeah. Okay, Renegade Productions. So, yeah, you, you did see those sets recently. That's mad. Um, crikey. If they're a good price, then that is a good find. That's a good find, and I, I'd sort of be interested in that if I if I could uh, get myself to that comic shop. <laughs> um, that That's bonkers. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. Um, oh, yeah, so even Espresso Extra about these... Um, Dynamics figures, yeah, yeah, they've been trying to get rid of those for for ages, haven't they? Um, so, so, so. Uh, where was it? Yeah, so I was just taking detour to this uh, site, wasn't I? Um, if we just find the on the subject of the the more recent stuff, let's um look at the. Where has it gone? The uh, like the 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 B and M page for the most recent sets. There it is. Um, so I think they have sort of started to appear. Um, in quite a few, quite a few places now. I think across the country. Um. Yeah, there we go. So. Yeah, not too bad. Fingers crossed no one has any trouble uh, finding these uh, that they want them. But yeah, the most recent sets there. And uh, lots of reports in the comments of people that found them. Um, yeah, but let's go back to... Um, oh, gosh. I don't know if I want to press enter on this, but destroyed Imperial Dalek and Davros. See you on the other side. Mm, okay. It could have been worse. I was sort of expecting worse. I was sort of expecting like, well, let me go. It couldn't be much worse, to be honest. <laughs> 200 quid for these two. Oh, no. No, no, no. Um, I mean, 90 quid. It's not bad, but it's not ideal. You know, 45, 50 quid each for these figures. Um, it's not what you want, really, is it? Yeah, so that's that's one of the worst defenders, really. Um, one that I am missing, and one that I'll probably be missing for uh, you know the rest of my my days. Um, oh, I see you're on a good production. So you're in America. Uh, that might be a bit difficult for me to get hold of those things then. <laughs> but lucky you, yeah. I've seen that actually. Some examples of American. Uh, comic shops and things having some of the old sets for fairly decent prices. Um, so that's very lucky, very nice. Um, we've got some more bargains in the chat though. We've got Shadow Monster with yet another bargain. Uh, the original Seventh Doctor TARDIS set for £45 as a birthday gift from a friend. That is very nice, very good indeed. Um, 
Oh yeah, so Renegade Productions. If you're looking for the um, Sea Devil, Zygons, and Ice Warriors, um, there is a set. It wouldn't cover the Sea Devil. It would cover the um, Zygons and Ice Warriors. It was called the Monsters set. Doctor Who, uh, the Monsters uh, figure set. I don't know how much it goes for in America these days, but it's fairly expensive in the UK. Yeah, like 50 quid. And even so, I suppose for three rarish figures, it's not too bad. Um... Well, then again, like one for 40 quid, 30 quid, 20 quid. That's a steal there. Buy it now, 20, 20 quid, 25 quid. That's not bad. But yeah, this set um, contains two out of the three of the figures that you've just mentioned to me. Um, so that might be something worth looking at uh, for those two. I sort of wish I'd bought that set myself at the time because I was kind of thinking, you know, it came out and I'd already got these all three figures and I was like, oh, I don't need this. Um, now, I look back now and think... It would have been quite nice to army build these guys, because um, obviously now, you know, they're not as easy to get a hold of, so. Yeah. Um, but in terms of other ones, um, other bargains, Shadow Monster got uh, another Claws of Axos set for £5 for unit soldier customs. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, in fact, that's, that's amazing. Uh, and like even, take a quick detour to Amazon maybe, because, um, Quite a lot of the, um, if you just type in Doxy figure, quite a lot of the old BM sets come up um, dead cheap. Like, I mean, here, you know, eight quid for your uh, unit Cause of Axos set. That is amazing with free delivery as well. Um, that is a, a real steal. Um, you know, same for your Zygon set and for your fourth Doxy companions um, as well. Yeah, that they are uh, fantastic prices, frankly. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, some of the prices on this page, not so much. Mm. But, uh, yeah, for those three packs, that's really great. Uh, yeah, Celestial Soulgazer got one of those uh, unit sets for £8. Yeah, yeah, in store, I'm assuming. I got an extra um, 13th Doctor Friends and Foes set for that eight quid uh, back in the day, well, last year, um, to get an extra to Dune um, to go on the shelf for Dune Soldier from Fugitive. Um, do do do. So I think we're gonna start winding down soon. We're gonna start winding down. Um, but any last minute sort of figure bargains or things, do let me know in the chat. Um, and you know, yeah, do do leave a like if you enjoyed and and, and mention the chat and stuff. Anything you want to say? Uh, let's keep the conversation going for a few minutes longer. Um, we'll probably go for another sort of we'll go till half past I think uh, that's a good hour and a half worth of stream uh, it's been good fun this um, I mean let's see if there's anything else off this list here that we think we can find for a reasonable price in, in the next sort of five minutes or so um, I mean maybe like I don't know really I think of the classic ones, maybe like the third Doctor. Let's just look at the third Doctor figures, and, and particularly we're thinking about like all those variants, you know, like the Green Death one, the Death of the Daleks one, the Time Warrior one, uh, and the Sea Devils one. Um, maybe one of them loose might not be too bad. Um, and of course, with, with things like that as well, you know, you can usually find or sometimes find um, those figures going loose where they've not put in the listing title that it's from a certain set, so it's it's cheaper, or it goes for cheaper. Um, crikey, Sontaran Pod for 20 quid. Uh, that's from Hooven Espresso Extra. That's very, very nice. Um, on both Evolution of the Cybermen uh, figurine sets from Eagle Moss uh, for 30 quid. That's from Ben Hollywell. Amazing, amazing, very, very nice stuff. Yeah, they, they do some mad sales sometimes. You have to watch uh, with Eagle Moss. They often have, well, they have a sale on every day of the week, basically. Uh, it's like a different sale. So sometimes it's a better sale than others, you know, a better bargain. Um, you have to keep an eye out for the, the best deals. It's like picking and choosing the best deals. Because sometimes, you know, the same product might be 30 quid one week and then 20 quid the next. And you have to sort of, you know, use your uh, brain to keep an eye on things and, and not be duped by uh, some of their tactics. Um We've got a suggestion about looking at the original uh, third Doctor TARDIS from 2018. Okay, we'll, we'll finish off with that one. We'll finish off with that one uh, after this Shadow Monster. Um, that's a good shout. It's a good shout. 
So, um, on Sam Fowler, what is my uh, what, what in my opinion is the best Sontaran figure? Um, uh, well, I'm very enamoured with Store at the moment because I've only very recently got hold of him, and I think the paint apps on his head and stuff are really great. Um, and he's just a bit a bit different with the uh, the sort of rim around the helmet as well. He, he looks quite nice. Um, but I think otherwise I'd have to say like the, I don't own it, but the original Lynx looks really nice. And it's a shame that the, the B&M version of Lynx has a, a, a I don't know, a, a weird sort of skin tone tone, like a, a sort of grey, as if he's sort of been in the oven or something, you know, <laughs> as if Lynx is sort of, uh, or, or aged how many years, a few decades, a few centuries. Um... We've got a uh, Craig, a complete Vespa form, Rego Productions. That's very, very good uh, achievement. And a D84 loose for 50p. Uh, Mr. Insect Nasty. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Um, and uh, yeah, a fam set for £7 from Shadow Monster. So let's quickly go through. Uh, I mean, I don't think we're going to find anything here particularly, are we? It's basically just the sort of the newer releases. Um, this, yeah, that's not the Time Warrior one, is it? The Time Warrior one just has the standard trousers without the boots. So, that's a Carnival of Monsters one. That's a uh, Eleven Doctors set one that's been very sneakily made to look like a variant, which it isn't. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a bit of a lost cause, really, isn't it? We're not going to find anything particularly. Got a weird customy thing going on there. Um, yeah. No, that's not it, is it? No, no, no. A Peladon one. Oh, with some weird accessories. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's a lost call. Oh, there's a weird custom there. <laughs> that's a uh, bizarre spearhead from space custom. Um. Yeah, it's depressing. But, oh, that's quite. Hmm. Hmm. That's not bad. I mean, forty quid, not ideal. That's the Death to the Daleks uh, variant. That's another one there as well. I mean, maybe one day, if you know, when the um next year, when the. The Death to the Daleks, Daleks come out in History of the Daleks, presumably. Maybe then I'll be tempted to pick up a third Doctor to go alongside him. Um, but yeah, we are getting close to half past now. So let's quickly look at the third Doctor uh, TARDIS, the original release. Um, see how much they're going for. And then we will have to finish off today, folks. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching today. Thanks for engaging in the chat. We've had lots of great messages, great messages about bargains and things. Um, I mean, final call. If anyone has any of these figures here going spare, get in touch with me, please. I'd love to hear about it, uh, especially the classic series ones. Um, yeah, I, I would, you know, I, I'd love to hear about that. Um, but yeah, this third Doctor type. Crikey Moses. That's a set of seven BM TARDISes released so far. So everything up to, um, well, up to the end of last year, isn't it? That one, the Visitation TARDIS is the most recent one there. And then it's missing the um, first Docs one from this year. 500 quid. Hmm, not sure about that. <laughs> and there's one there for 375. All right, so that one's without the, um, this one that we're looking at. Yeah, this is the one. 100 quid. I mean, there was a time when these went for so much. Like when this was the only uh, classic TARDIS uh, re-release um, back in 2018, this, you know, it went for such stupid money on eBay. And scalpers were absolutely, um, you know, raking it in with these. Um, so they're not as much these days, but they're still fairly rare by the look of it. The like cheapest one you can get here is 70 quid. And that's an auction. Um, but the, the Monster Repel on TARDIS, yeah, is definitely cheaper. That's still fairly readily available. Because there was a time as well last year when that was uh, reduced to dirt cheap as well. 
um because that came out like right when covid started to hit so clearly they had loads of stock that they needed to shift of these guys um but but, but, but that is it for today i think so we are now at half past we've been going for an hour and a half um Thank you very much for watching, whether you've been watching this live or uh, on, uh, on on repeat afterwards. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. And um, yeah, Merry Christmas, I suppose, because <laughs> that's, that's coming up fairly soon now, uh, within the next week. And um, there will be more stuff coming on the channel shortly. Um, there's a very exciting video tomorrow uh, at the time of, uh, of, of, of recording. Um, the next collab between me and Miles, in which we open our presents to each other. So uh, that's a core cool look out for that. Um, some really great reactions from us on both sides there, I think. Uh, very entertaining. And uh, yeah, particularly the, the thing that I got Miles, um, it, 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 was, it was good. It was good to see his reaction, to see his face to that. That was, that was good fun. Um, yeah, he wasn't expecting it, I don't think. So if you want to know more about that, then um, do do stay tuned. For tomorrow, it uh, goes without saying, of course, if you're new here, subscribe uh, to keep up uh, with everything that I'm doing, all the live streams and stuff, and, and just everything, really. Um, otherwise, we will call it a day there. So, thank you so much for watching. Once again, Merry Christmas, um, and sweet dreams, and hope everyone can get the, uh, the figures that they want uh, eventually, of course. And, yeah, if anyone has any of these on this current uh, graphic. Well, hold on. Which way? That way. There. Yeah. If anyone has any of those, then please do get in touch with me on Twitter or whatever. Um, I, I would love to hear about it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. And, uh, yeah. See you later. Now I just need to remember how to end this. <laughs>